So once we, once we are finished with the uh, daily operation, it's time to clean. Yes, a cleaning machine needs cleaning because that ensures that tomorrow's performance is going to be as good as today's performance. So what I will start with is taking off the brushes with a little twist to the side. Make sure that everything is okay, that nothing is clogged inside the brushes and so forth. Then always a little microfiber cloth comes in handy because it's always good to wipe off the deck. Just make sure that all the dirt and stuff is taken away. After that we are dressing the squeegee. Just disconnecting the squeegee from the whole unit and making sure that nothing is inside the squeegee. Best and optimal way, just take the cloth again, just wipe it out and it's as good as new. So, after this we take away the fresh water tank and obviously the dirty water tank which we're gonna empty later on. Then another very important part you will find here on the machine which is the vacuum hose. It's really, really important that you clean that hose as well because there could be a little buildup of some certain dirt and so forth. Because remember, you have worked with the machine the whole day and it really needs a little bit of attention. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking away the screw cap because that makes my life a lot easier. And I'm actually pulling the hose through the machine and we will take the hose for the rinsing point so we can flush fresh water through it before we put it back into the machine. Then on the front part of the machine it is very important that you have a look at both of these elements. Here the dirty water comes basically inside the tank so it can be that you have a little bit of a buildup of certain residue in here. So just pull this out Make sure it's clean and that there's no dirt inside and fit it back inside the machine. The same you do with the filter. If it's in a clean status like this, just open it up, make sure nothing is inside which could possibly clog it. If it is really dirty, take out the foam and rinse it under the, the water. Then you put this back in. Yeah. Make sure that it fits nice, put the top back on it and move it back inside the machine. Please do not forget this. So then if you see some outside dirt or whatsoever or residual water, just quickly take it away again with your microfiber cloth and then you're almost done because then you take the batteries out. Again, color coded and put them into the charger so we make sure they're ready to go for tomorrow morning. So you put them into the charger and then you see here on the charger an on and off switch. So you switch it on and then you can leave it overnight and they will be ready for tomorrow morning. So now we have cleaned the hose, cleaned the dirty water tank and the fresh water tank to put the hose back in. Please always take the side where the cap is off and move it in in this direction because that makes your life a lot easier because otherwise it has a hard time to go in. Please connect it up here tightly and then you take the screw cap basically and put it back onto the end piece of the hose. So after that we can mount the squeegee again, connect it, make sure it's a tight fit and then squeegee onto the pins. All is good. Brushes back to the machine. And last but not least you can put the tanks on. In case you have some insecurities about the machine we have printed some advice, some tips and tricks as well onto the insides of the tanks for your reading. Put them back on and your machine is clean and ready to go for the next day. 
Thank you very much for your time and attention. We hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some little tips and tricks to operate the iMob. And again, we wish you a lot more fun in your cleaning tasks uh, on a daily basis. Enjoy your iMob. Thank you very much.